Hi guys, welcome back to Deck Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to teach you Image to Image AI Leonardo. How to use Leonardo AI Image Prompt. Leonardo Tutorial. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now for today's video, like I said with our title, we will be focusing on the feature of Leonardo that uses Image to Image. So to be able to access this feature, you're going to have to open the image generation over here. Simply open it on another tab or on this tab if you want. And over here, as you can see, this is where we will be able to generate different types of images. Now, if you're familiar with how Leonardo works, you're simply going to enter your prompt over here and then you will be able to produce an output over here. Now, over here on the left side, as you scroll down, you will be able to find the image to image option. Now, some of you might not be able to use this because there is a reason. You're going to have to disable the prompt magic over here. If this is enabled, which I know most of you will have because it will enable your original prompt or your normal prompt to be better, you won't be able to access it. As you can see here, it's currently locked. So if you want to access the image to image, you're going to have to disable our prompt magic over here. So when you disable that, as you can see, we will now be able to use the image to image option over here. Now, the purpose of the image to image is so that you could give Leonardo AI an image to work with. Basically, it will use that image as a basis for your prompt. So for example, I enter that image over here and then I enter a specific style that I would like to see. For example, over here, I could steal or check out some styles that we see over here in the leaderboards in this recent creation that are trending. We could use their style and use the image that we will be uploading as a basis. So we will demonstrate that. We will be using two images and we will try out four, at least four different styles that we will find over here to try and overlap our original image, but still keep the key feature or the key image that we are trying to have. So we're simply going to upload our first image over here going to upload one first and this is going to be our photo over here this photo of a kid so we will be going to use this image as a basis so let's go look at the home page and look for a style that we would like to have so for example i would like our baby image over here to have the style of this cat over here so let's open this and when you open a specific image in the reset, you will be able to see all the details if ever you would like to replicate them. So over here, we have the model as Dream Shaper 7. So we have it over here. Then our prompt, uh, you could copy the prompts over here if you want. But for me, I'm going to copy this now. Copy, then go over here and paste it over here. Then we could examine this and edit it out. Look for the different keywords that you need to fix for example this one the, back, the wording is wrong there's cat over here so we're going to be removing this vector art removing the cat head and you're going to have to examine the prompt properly so that you won't have any issues with the generation keep the design centered on the eyes i guess there we go then capture their uniqueness and charm the logo should evoke a sense of sophistication and tranquility emphasize slow poly style and i think this is good there is no negative prompt as you can see here so let's simply try and generate that now it will use our imagery here as the main basis for the generation over here so let's see how the image and the prompt interact and there we go we have our style over here we incorporated the style and tried to put it together over here as you can see i think this second one did really well well the first one is still okay but it, i think the second one is the best output that we were able to produce so if you like the output you can simply upscale it if you want then download it or even zoom it you could have the background removed or if you don't like the output presented to you you could actually generate it once again let's change the dimension this time i think let's go with something like that three by four then generate it once again let's see if we will be able to get a different output but i really like the output this one over here now while waiting for this one let's go look for another style for example let's check out the prompt in this one no so let's go and look for another one that has a lot of prompt maybe this one let's see let's try and copy this one 
and let's go here and there we go actually it made our kid into a girl like a little girl and now we have a very good first one and a very good second one as well i really like this two better than this one this one over here this one kept the child the childish but this one at i guess made the person or made the kid grow more but uh the point is to have it closer to the image over here so you're going to have to redo and redo until you get the output that you like now let's go try another design which is this one we're going to copy the prompt or replace this ctrl v there we go we got set of you and generate and yeah, let's see our output for this one then after this we will be checking out another image and yeah, let's give it some time and there we go it's loading in and there we go now i don't think it's similar so some uh prompts over here is not going to work are uh, you going to have to look for a good prompt for it to work or actually let's try doing it once again let's change the image dimension or maybe you could edit the photo over here so that it's not really going to show like the white background on the right side but anyway let's generate it uh let's give it some time once again let's wait for it to prepare our output then we could compare it with this other output series here so far this one's the best and closest one to our main image over here and over here there we go it's still not that similar but anyway let's move on now let's go and upload our second image and let's check that one out go upload this it's going to be the same we're going to have a kid as our main focus over here now while that is uploading let's go look for a design maybe this one over here mm, let's look for something else go maybe this one let's try to have our image to have a very unique output so let's go into uh, copy that then we're going to paste it over here on our prop area magical scenic and uh, we're going to change this this prop let's change this to just like that paper art Mechanism, 8k bass landscape concept art and then let's see the model leonardo diffusion let's copy that leonardo diffusion there we go then let's see anything that we need to add nothing else so let's generate it once again and let's see if we will be able to incorporate the style that we have over here into our image of a kid over here the image of a baby so let's wait for it to out to finish creating and there we go let's see and there we go now i think it replaced our main model over here a bit too much but we were able to keep like the similar clothing like the similar aspect like the child indeed has like a hat a white hat and it was able to put it over here although it replaced our kid entirely so let's examine it if we made a mistake it i think it took van gogh a bit too much so let's get this out and let's do it again generate let's see if we will be able to have a different output where the person isn't really a grown person and actually this one in its strength preserve we could increase this if you want like you could increase this as much as you want so that the main image is preserved as much as possible we have the second output over here it's very unique but that's not the output we want to generate so let's do it again this time with a higher in its strength so let's go and check out what it would look like on a maxed out in its strength so i forgot to show this with our first example earlier so i suggest that you play around with the in its strength as well so that you could have the image as close as possible now this one the in its strength is too strong so there isn't really changes so going to lower it to 49 generate it once again this is the what will happen if it's too high so you go play around with it and look for the perfect balance for your design so let's look for one last uh, style before we end our video for today so for example this one we're going to copy this maybe create a factor Nisha, but we're going to change the prompt so it's still too strong i guess it didn't change too much our output over here so let's lower it back to 30 generate and let's see i guess there's a reason why the default is very low because as you can see we won't really be able to get any output but this one's really good over here but this output over here was really good although the main subject was changed immediately and there we go we have this output over here similar to this one but 
I guess, like I said, it's going to depend on the prop as well. So we're going to copy this one over here, copy it, paste it in this section, then create a vector. Let's go change this. There we go. Then the specific model, Leonardo Diffusion, Dream Shaper version 7, then generate. Then let's see how we will be able to have this image interact with this image over here. Also, a key important thing aside from the prompt is, of course, the image itself. And there we go. We produce a decent one actually with that right one over here. I think this one is pretty decent compared to all of this other here. And it looks really great. And actually, I want to try this one as a last generation for today's video. There we go. Minimalist ink. The Dream Shaper or Absolute 1.6. There we go. Then let's generate and uh, let's see how our image of a baby will interact with this style over here. Then we will end the video after that. You could use any image, but of course, make sure that it is also a good image. And there we go. We actually produced a very decent output, especially the right one over here. And that's it, guys. That is how you will be able to use the image to image AI image generation of Leonardo. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.